Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We are glad to have you listening with us. Today's topic is about seeking God's plan for the dreams of your heart. We'll return with the devotional after a message from our sponsors. Following Your Dreams by Alexis A. Goring You can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose will prevail. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21, New Living Translation We all have dreams and high aspirations for our lives. Some may dream to be a ballerina, a singer, an actress, a teacher, or a doctor. The possibilities are endless. They say that when you put your mind to something, you can do anything. College students are often encouraged to have a five-year or 10-year plan for their life, as well as a backup plan, if their first career goal doesn't happen. Ultimately, we are encouraged to go for our dreams and not to be distracted. But what happens when our dreams don't come true? Is all hope lost? Should we just give up and throw in the towel? Should we settle for a life less than we imagined? I believe that all depends on your perspective. Are you making your own plans without consulting God first? Or are you praying to the Lord, asking Him to align your will with His plan? The Bible says too, But seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, New International Version. I believe those things include the dreams of our hearts. However, I think that pursuing your dreams can be a great adventure that will only work if you put God first. A few years ago, I heard a sermon from Pastor Stephen Furtick. In it, he says something that still resonates with me today. In so many words, he explained, The Bible doesn't tell us to follow our dreams. It tells us to follow Jesus. I found that to be true. I was raised in the USA, and all of my life, I've heard people say phrases like, follow your heart and take your passion and make it happen. But the older I get, the more I remember how the Bible says that the heart is deceitful above all things. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. So why are we so focused on what our heart desires? And what if those desires are not part of our destiny? We could easily be led astray if we decided to let our heart lead us instead of Jesus. However, the Bible also advises us to delight ourselves in the Lord, and He will give us the desires of our heart. Psalm chapter 37, verse 4. So there is hope, right? God cares about everything that affects you, including your 5-10 to year plan. He wants you to dream, but not by following your heart. He wants you to dream by following Him. The Bible doesn't say we need to have everything figured out, but it does say we need to trust God in everything, and He'll make our path straight. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 6. It gives me comfort and hope to know that God cares about my dreams and that He's willing to give me the desires of my heart that are according to His will. If my dreams and plans are outside of God's will for my life, then they will not happen. I am more than okay with that because the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12, Good News Translation, What you think is the right road may lead to death. What a powerful point. It helps me remember that God knows best. Sometimes the very dream we so desperately want to come true can be the very thing that will end our life. Only we cannot see that from our limited human perspective. However, we serve a God who can see the end from the beginning, Isaiah chapter 46, verse 10, which is why it is vital to ask him for his plans for our life, not ours. You can rest assured that God knows you better than you know yourself. He knows what path in life will bring you the most joy and peace. He knows the gifts and talents that he's giving you. And he knows the best way that those blessings can be shared. Remember, God's dreams for you are not just to help you, but to help the world. If we ask him to align our will with his, then we will want the same dreams he wants for us. Often, you may discover that a dream God has for you is greater than you could ever imagine, 
and will make you happiest. Intersecting faith and life. What dream has God placed in your heart? How does knowing that following God's plan for your life is best give you hope? Further reading. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 3. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. And Proverbs chapter 18 verse 16. Also read Nine Scriptures to Help You Pursue Your Dreams by Sandra Barks Wand. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.